Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to solve Pitocin, also known as oxytocin, maternity dosage calculations using the desired over half formula method. Now, if you wanna solve these problems with me, you can download a free worksheet on my website by accessing the link in the description below. So let's get started. When you're solving Pitocin dosage calculation problems, there is a metric conversion that you want to remember, and it's one unit equals a thousand milliunits. And the reason you wanna remember this is because Pitocin is gonna be ordered in milliunits per minute, and you're gonna be supplied with a bag of Pitocin that's in units. So you've got to be able to go from milliunits units to units or units to milliunits. And having that right there in the memory bank will make it super easy. Also, you wanna remember that Pitocin is piggybacked in fluids. So you have Pitocin here and it's gonna be just piggybacked into a primary line of fluids. So we're gonna be using this handy dandy little formula to help us solve this, but let's say you don't like this formula, you prefer a different way to solve these problems. Well, what's great is there's different methods. So I have dimensional analysis or ratio and proportion that will also show you how to solve these problems. Here we have a patient who is receiving Pitocin at six milliunits per minute. You're supplied with a bag that reads 10 units per 1,000 mLs in lactated ringer solution, and you're trying to determine the milliliters per hour. So let's use our formula to do that. We have, again, what is it? It's the, the desired dose, so the dose that it's desired for the patient to have over the dose that you have, so your supplied dose, times the quantity, which here will be the volume amount, equals X, hence milliliters, what you're trying to solve for. Okay, so let's plug it in. The desired dose is six milli units per minute over the half dose, which is what you have, is 10 units. Multiplied by the volume, which is our quantity, that's a thousand milliliters, and that's gonna equal X. So this is our first step. Okay, before you go and just divide and multiply and solve, you have to make sure that these units of measurement here match up. They do not. I have milli units here and I have units here. So we've got to do a little converting before we can solve. So this is where you're gonna pull from that memory bank. You know that one unit equals a thousand milli units. So you need to determine how many, six milli units equals how many units. So we want this in units up here. So what we're gonna do, we're going from milli units to units. Anytime you go from something small to large, you're gonna divide. So we are going to take six and we're gonna divide that by a thousand. And I got that thousand up here because one unit equals a thousand milli units. And when I say six divided by a thousand, that is going to give me 0 0.006 units. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna plug that in back into our formula. So step three. So we have 0 0.006 unit per minute over 10 units times 1,000 milliliters equals X. So we match up, so now let's divide. So 0 0.006 divided by 10, when we do that, that is going to give me 0 0.0006, and then we multiply that by 1,000. When we do that, that is going to give me 0 0.6 milliliters per minute. Our units had canceled out up there, left over minute and we had milliliters per minute. So right now I'm in milliliters per minute. I need to be in what? Milliliters per hour. So I've got to take an extra step and this step is super easy. How many minutes are in an hour? Cause that's where I've got to go is to hours. So we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 times the 0 0.6. When I multiply those together, I get 36 milliliters per hour. And that is my answer. Here we have a patient who's receiving a Pitocin infusion and they're receiving it at a rate of 12 milliliters per hour. And you're supplied with a bag that reads on it 20 units per 1,000 mLs and it's in lactated ringer solution. And you're trying to determine how many milli units per minute this patient is receiving. So let's plug into our formula. Okay, first step here, the desired dose. It's desired for the patient to have 12 milliliters per hour. 
over the half dose, what you have. So that is a thousand milliliters. These units of measurement need to match up or at least be similar where you can convert them because they're gonna divide into each other and then cancel each other out. So always remember that. And you're gonna multiply that by the quantity and the quantity here is 20 units. And this equals X. So before we go and solve, let's just look and see if everything matches up and where we need it to be. So these do match up, that's good to go. But one thing that I'm looking at right now is that this is in units. I've got to determine milli units. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and convert this into milli units so we're already there and we can go ahead and solve. So let's just take this down to step two. So 20 units equals how many milli units? Well, we have to pull from what we memorized earlier. We know that one unit equals a thousand milli units. So when you go from something large like units to something small, milli units, you're gonna multiply. So we're gonna say a thousand times 20. This equals 20,000. So it's 20,000 milli units. That's what 20 units is equivalent to. So now I'm gonna plug that new information I just calculated into the original problem. So 12 milliliters per hour over 1,000 milliliters times 20,000 milli units equals X. So let's go ahead and solve now. 12 divided by 1,000 gives me 0 0.012. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that by the 20,000. When I multiply those together, I get 240 milli units per hour. Up here that canceled out our milliliters, it left us with milli units per hour. But what does our problem want us to solve for? It wants us to solve for milli units per minute. So I've gotta go a step further and get this into minutes. And we know that one hour equals 60 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 240 divided by 60 equals four. So four milli units per minute is our answer. Here in this problem, our patient is receiving a Pitocin infusion and it's been started at two milli units per minute. And the healthcare provider has set some parameters for this. They want to increase by two milli units per minute every 30 minutes for a max dose to not exceed 10 milli units per minute. And so this is gonna be based on how the patients are doing, how's mom's contractions, how's the baby's heart rate. So it's been 30 minutes, the, everything's looking great with our patients, so now you've increased it to four milli units per minute. And you're supplied with a bag that says 30 units per 500 ml in normal saline. So now you're trying to determine this new milliliters per hour. So notice this problem has a lot of information in it, it has a lot of numbers in it, and you've got to determine which information is the most important to plug into your formula over here so you can solve. So you have a lot of distractors that could throw you off. So just concentrate on what you need to know. So the most important information in this problem is this new titration rate that you have went up to, the four milli units per minute, and of course what you're supplied with, this bag, what it reads on it. So let's go ahead and plug into our formula. Okay, so first step, the desired dose. It's desired now for the patient to receive four milli units per minute. Over the half dose, what you have, you have a bag and it has 30 units in it. Multiply that by the quantity, the quantity is 500 milliliters and this equals X. So let's look at these units, make sure we're happy with everything. Okay, here we have, they're similar units, but they're different. We have milli units here and units there. So we're gonna have to do some converting. Milliliters, that's fine over here because that's what our problem wants it in. So we're gonna go down to a step two. We need to get this into units. Four milli units is equivalent to how many units? Okay, let's think back to our memory bank, that metric conversion we memorized. We know that one unit equals a thousand milli units. So we're going from something small milli units to something large units. Therefore, we are going to divide. So four divided by a thousand equals 0 0.004. 
So four milliunits is equivalent to 0 0.004 units. Okay, now I'm gonna take that new number I solved for and put it into my original formula. So 0 0.004 units per minute over 30 units. We're gonna multiply that by 500 milliliters and that equals X. Let's go ahead and do that. 0 0.004 divided by 30 is going to give me a very big number. It's gonna be 0 0.000133 000 repeating. Do not clear out your calculator. Keep that huge number in your calculator right now. And I want you to take that and I want you to multiply that by 500. So when we multiply that by 500, we get another huge number. We get 0 0.0666, repeating. Again, do not clear out your calculator. So this canceled out our units up here. We are left with milliliters per minute. So 0 0.066 repeating milliliters per minute is where I'm at. But I'm not done there because I gotta get to milliliters per hour. So this part's the easy part. You've already done all the hard part. We know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So we're gonna take 60, and again, don't clear out your calculator, keep that huge long number right there in it. And you're gonna take 60 and you're gonna multiply that by that big number, so that 0 0.0666 repeating. And when you do that, you should get four milliliters per hour. Now let's say you cleared out your calculator that part, you might've got like 3.996, something like that, well, whatever it would be, you would round to the nearest whole number, which would be four. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve Pitocin dosage calculations using that desired over half formula. Now, if you want some more practice on these problems, you can access a free quiz on my website via the link in the description below.